What did the crowd's response to you the other day feel like? Unbelievable. I, I put a tweet out the other day the thanking them and everything, and I didn't really think they noticed that much. And when they stood up and started going crazy, it really made me think, man, our fans are the best fans in the country. And it was, it was awesome to see. What was that like, just that moment for you, kind of kind of coming back out there uh, for the first time in whatever it was, 15 or 20 games? Yeah, it, w it was hard because I, I was in the bullpen warming up, and I'm thinking, I hope I get my chance, I hope I get my chance. And when the fans got up, it, it was breathtaking, and it was very emotional. I'm, I'm out there smiling, I'm thinking, I should be crying right now, but, you know, <laughs> enough with the tears. Um, but I was, I was super excited to be out there and the fans be there supportive and everything. The adrenaline pumping a little bit. Absolutely, yeah. I don't know how you can't be excited and nervous at the same time to be back out there, but it was awesome, and it was good to see that everyone was standing up and being supportive. Considering how much you were able to you know, get in the circle last year, how difficult has this year been not being able to be out there as much? It's definitely frustrating. You know, It's a different mindset, and you have to stay positive and not be so down on yourself all the time and being supportive for the other pitchers, and that's, and that's my main goal this year is you know, if I'm not out there doing it, I want my other pitchers out there supporting me as much as if I was in their shoes. So I was super excited for my other pitchers to be so, so successful during pack play. You know, pack play is not over yet, but one more weekend. But I've been super excited for them, and I've been really focusing on bullpen for practice for me and then for games for them. So. You've been supportive of your pitchers. How supportive have your teammates been, you know, with you just trying to encourage you to just keep going? Awesome. You know, after uh, Megan got pulled out of that game, she was so excited crying for me that she that I got to go out there. And that, that shows a lot for her pitching staff. You know, we're all competitive people here. We're one of the top teams in the country, top pitchers in the nation. And even though Megan got pulled out of that game, for me to go out there and just have some confidence and motivation to be back out there again really speaks a lot for our pitching staff and what kind of kids Coach White's recruiting. And I think that's pretty awesome that everyone on the pitching staff was super excited for me and also the fans. Has Mike kind of talked to you about maybe what, what your role is moving forward? What has he kind of said to you on that front? Um, there really hasn't been much conversation other than I am down a lot of weight since last year and that has definitely played a role in uh, me not performing and that's kind of like a sensitive topic um, just because I'm trying to gain so much weight so quick and it's hard. Um, I'm also not working out how I was last year due to injury so I'm trying to get back into that groove. I'm finally running, lifting again in the last month, going in and doing much as much work as I can in a, in a small period of time to be back out there and I was really excited with my numbers because that's the highest my numbers have looked since last season so that was it was kind of a relief that all my work has been paying off these last couple of weeks. In that sense was Sunday kind of like a check mark for you in, in did you feel like you kind of did pass a test for yourself? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think seeing those numbers on the board, I went out there and I said, I'm, I don't care where this ball goes, I'm throwing it as hard as I can. And a couple of them were a little wild, but I was like, you know what, I don't care as long as they're hard. And that, that was my main goal, was go out there and get my speed back up. Um, this week I'll be practicing the same stuff that I've been. Um, but it was kind of just mentally and physically, it was nice to see that these last month and a half has been really hard on me. and. The fact that I went out there in two innings and my speed was back up to par was awesome because then it's like showing me that, you know what, hey, it's, it's a process and you just got to trust it and that just kind of validated the process that I've been going through. Are you close to 100% or wherever, wherever you want to be? Um, I, I, there's still, I'm still kind of slower than I was last year, uh, last year um, and my location's a little bit off just due to lack of weight and explosiveness um, but no I still uh, this I think I can still get a couple good workouts in and start being stronger and better by post play so that's my goal right now working out as much as I can gaining as much weight as I can um, in the next couple weeks with all the big games you pitched in last year do you feel like if, if White called on you in a, in a big moment this postseason it's, it's something you'd be ready to handle absolutely yeah. to me it's physical it's not mental my my head still exactly where it was last year just now physically I'm trying so hard to do something so I have to relax and let it happen um, and I think that's the biggest part because usually it's mental why people aren't out there me it's a physical thing and that, that's more frustrating than anything because it's it's what my body can and can't do so I think working physically every day and trying to be the best I can be every day is going to help me in the long run obviously your focus and the team's focus is going to be on the rest of this season but for next year, do you feel like a full off season coming up of preparation? Is, is there any doubt for you that you'll be ready to go like you were your freshman year? Yeah, so I uh, reevaluated my summer and I'm going to go home for three months. I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to go home, see a back doctor, have a structured workout, gain a lot of weight, healthy weight, <laughs> um, and get back to where I was. I'm going to be playing this summer to get my innings back in because I've been lacking innings. Um, and just starting to get in the groove of things. So when I hit fall, I'm back to my regular self out there. I think 
mentally and physically I need that and I need the structure of my family right now so I think that's what I'm gonna do this summer um, and still focus on softball a little bit more than I did last summer so that's my goal not to be too personal but you said it was a back injury or something you yeah just kind of tweak something uh, yeah I have uh, I have some lower back issues right now that took away from Olympic lifting and running on the ground for the last year or so. I've been kind of modified and doing PT and stuff like that and um, thanks to Coach Dillon putting me back on the ground and back to lifting again is, is what's going on right now. And I don't know if you guys saw after the game, I was falling in his arms because <laughs> I give him the success for what I've been doing because so, he's been awesome towards me in my uh, career right now.